Great. Um, let's call the meeting to order at 7.01. Um, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, you will probably see on the agenda that there is a moment of silence in there that is to acknowledge the sad passing of Bill Cummings, who was a um, chairperson for the Merrimack Public Library Development Fund, um, also gave a lot back to the community of Merrimack and an all around wonderful human being. So we are very saddened to hear that and our hearts go out to his family. So if you would just join me for a moment of silence. Thank you, everyone. So he will be sorely missed. Um, OK, so here we are for our November meeting. Um, we have some old business to take care of. Um, before we get started, though, I do want to mention I also have a thank you card from uh, Joanne Marston for her retirement gift. So I will pass that around, and people can read that as we go. Um, October action items. And thank you to Molly for sending all the meeting minutes to us as a recap so that we had them all in one place. We appreciate that. Um, let's see, for October's meeting, some of our things that were on there, um, there were questions from Janet to Yvette to forward to the town regarding financial amounts. I guess that was done. Uh, Janet was going to move money as described above in Treasurer's report. That's done. Um, any items for the Library Board of Trustees retreat topics? People sent them to me. That was done. And Yvette and I did go before the town council on November 7th. So we took care of all those things. Okay. Was there anything else that I forgot? All right. So report from the trustee retreat. We did meet. Um, I did send you all a copy of the goals that we had discussed. Um, I am perfectly... Um, prepared to entertain that I did not capture them all. So if there is something that I did not know in there, if you want me to add them, um, I think it would be good for us to just um, go through them. Um, I'll just read through them and people can um, add as they see fit. So we said we wanted to proceed on the strategic plan. Um, we left it as proceed because we are um, involved in the process and a lot of it depends on the timetable with the consultant. Um, adopt the new salary schedule, which check we did that so that, <laughs> that's a good thing um, finalize Yvette's goals develop a schedule of projects that was going to be the building committee was going to work on that develop a succession plan for a new treasurer new chair and recruitment of trustees um, meet with the town's finance department to discuss discrepancies with it should be say with the goal of preventing future um, issues and investigate the hiring of an attorney um, not for any particular reason, just to have an attorney, somebody that we could have on call if we had questions. So was there anything else that should be added to that? Um, the statement about Yvette's goals, I believe those have been finalized. Um, and then what was brought up at the retreat was the next um, phase of the job description. Oh, okay. okay, so it should change it from finalize Yvette's goals to... To um, revise... Job description? Job description, the okay. library director. Revised director's job description. Um, and the only other note that I had around the goals, um, and maybe this is intended to be with the schedule of projects, but we did talk a little bit about the proposed new building mm -hmm. for the library and so I didn't know if that was intended as specifically part of the goals or, you know, a separate subject of sorts. So um, just a question, I guess, around that, if that if we had a specific goal. So if there should be a specific goal regarding uh, site selection and then the possibility of a new library building in the future. Right. Right. And mm -hmm. whether or not that I mean, I don't know that there was anything concrete. Mm -hmm. you know, defined around what that would look like in the time frame. But um, I just had that with my notes on the other goals. 
I'm not sure, like, um, do, do, do we want to add something about it just so it's on there? It, I mean, we're not going to get a new building this year, right? But right, what, right. what um, pursue step next steps in the process or something like that or? Um, I mean, we have, I feel like on our monthly agenda, mm -hmm. the kind of a placeholder of sorts, but it's not maybe the project as a whole and, you know, yeah. um, a timeline of any sort. Do you, are you are you thinking you want a timeline in terms of like like all these things need to happen before I we can don't. propose a new building? <laughs> I just I don't feel like I necessarily need it mm. there. I just know that was part of the conversation. So. I think I think a first step that has been bandied about and that might be worth putting on there is investigating. Um, a professional fundraiser, somebody who could advise the board on steps because there was some talk. And Yvette, maybe you could speak to this. I think you've mentioned the professional fundraiser having somebody, or was that? Uh, yeah. That was bandied about years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's worth bandying. Yeah, okay. we should continue to bandy it. So should Absolutely. we put on there like um, um, investigate a hiring a professional fundraiser or because I don't even I, know where we would begin, right? So okay. I guess that's a good thing because that's really a first step is, um, you know, we, we know the site that we'd like, but before we pursue it, like what would be the next steps as far as fundraising? Because mm -hmm. I think that we've talked about that the board would need to be making some effort, like working with the development fund, you know, to hire a, a fundraiser to bring forth some funds to the project that we wouldn't just go to the taxpayers and say, this is what we want, that we mm -hmm. would have something going on. And okay. that is beyond what we are capable of doing on our board. So hiring someone who knows what they're doing would make sense. So, mm -hmm. so okay. should I add then under investigate hiring attorney, investigate But rather than just investigate, I'll just we'll just say investigate hiring, just say investigate find um, fundraising, professional fundraising. Yeah, I think we could probably leave it there and know that that was the intent behind it. Okay. So was there anything else that people wanted to see added to there? If not, then I would make a motion that we adopt these goals with the changes noted that, um, and I will send you a copy of the changed goals. So Second. Is there any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Five, zero, zero. Great. We don't have necessarily dates on these, but I can send them to you and we can make a chart and sort of, you know, start clicking them away oh. and seeing and setting some penciled in dates for our, um, achievement of those. Great. Thank you. And thank you to everybody for going to the retreat. So SMP, that's the placeholder that Molly mentioned. That's just there. Um, I'm going to keep moving because I know we have a lot to do with the budget. So um, strategic plan. Does anyone have an update on the strategic plan? I know the steering committee had to be. The steering the committee changed their meeting to mm -hmm. the 25th. Okay. Because of the power change. Yes. So then our power outage. Okay, great. So 11.25, great. Um, if there's nothing else on the strategic plan, let's just move on to the building maintenance project list in CIP. Does anyone have any questions or concerns for Yvette? Since the sprinklers got um, looked at, mm -hmm. do they require a CIP anymore going to the town? I don't know. Maybe not. Um, could you just as we're here so the building committee talked about making a project list that would be different than this that would be the things that are up and coming that we need to be looking at or um when we talked it was more like um we went through the this list mm -hmm. and um, jared was present so he helped out with some of the 
explanations. Um, it was, going forward, it was more like, um, what are the next steps? Like, <clears throat> like we discussed the chiller. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the next step with the chiller? Okay. And so we had asked Yvette to talk with Kelly and mm -hmm. and start that next process. Okay. Um, so this list, but then maybe expanded out with like action items and or things that we yeah. could like. Okay. All right. Anything else on the building maintenance project list in CIP? Okay, then let's move on to new business, um, which is the first item is the fiscal year 2024-2025 budget, which is our current budget. Um, I did hear um, back from Paul Calabria today that the P they will be creating a PO for the $69,000. Um, I thought they were going to do it earlier, but I guess they're still in the middle of or finishing up some audit stuff. So that is in the works. And that um, Paul McCallie said he that Paul Calabria would get in touch with me regarding the $11,000 um, from, I think we believe that's in special line 38 that we are uh, want to discuss. So um, just rest assured, we are emailing them and keeping in touch and pursuing it. So, okay, um, anything, for this current budget, um, the general ledger, invoice, open POs. Um, yes, I want to bring up a couple things. Um, so I had asked Yvette to send um, a new general ledger for just this month and, and then the POs to expand on either side of the month. Um, going forward, I basically going forward, I, I asked if I could have just the month that we're interested in for the general ledger, just the month that we're interested in for the in recap of invoices, and then the POs having that um, essentially a couple weeks before and a couple weeks after of that month. So the POs, because they just tend to shift funny and it just, just depends when town gets to it um, that's how I want to see the data if if that messes with any of you please let me know I'll work around it um, but I um, that's how I want to see it <laughs> and um, and after the budget I'm gonna meet with Jen Stover to go over um, the recap of invoices there's something funky going on. I don't know what. Um, it comes from the same system, but the recap of invoices, if you take each, actually, if you just sum everything up, it should match the range to date minus all of the um, salary lines, and it doesn't. So so I'm, I want to find out why that is. Um, has it matched in the past and yes. this is something new? Okay. Yes, it has matched in the past. And I don't know when it started because I usually just pick something to just look at. Mm -hmm. I don't go through everything. Um, but this time I just happened to pick, oh, let's just check the, the range to dates. And it was off, so. Um, okay. So that's it, that's for the current information. Does anyone else have any questions about anything? So this general ledger that is labeled 10, one to eleven sixteen is that reflective of the date range that you? No, no. that has extra dates on it. Um, I like, she ended up sending, Yvette sent out the general ledger, um, I think yesterday with just October. It went October 1 to October 31. Um, okay. The other thing with that is because we've had salary uh, staff turnover, I can check where the values are for the salary lines more definitively at the end of a month versus where it is in the middle of a month. Uh, so. Okay. Anything else? 
Okay, then let's move on to the proposed budget. So um, we met, we looked at some of the things, we um, adopted the salary schedule, but we still have some other items to work on for the budget. So what is the best way to go about doing this? I propose we wait till we've done everything else. Okay. Because there's just little things here and there. Okay. So we'll <laughs> we'll finish up with the budget. Okay. Is that okay with everyone? That's okay. Okay. Um, sure. All right. Um, policy review. Anything? No. We're no. still working with the attorneys on the personnel policy manual. Okay. Uh, grants. That is just on there. Staff holiday gifts. Thank you for including that. Um, We've done fifty dollar uh, yeah, gift cards in the past yep. for staff members. I am gonna. We did kind of jokingly say it, but actually, it would be true that it would be great if people would not pick Visa cards just because of the additional fees that start to add up. That, um, but I don't know. Usually, people don't pick them for the Christmas for the holiday one, rather. So, um, okay. So we've done fifty dollar ones in the past. And we just need the list. We have seventeen staff. Okay. So um, is that from Passports? Yes. Okay. So I will make a motion that we purchase um, gift cards for our the library staff, um, $50 each, and that the money comes from Passports. Second. Any discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Great. Five zero zero. Um, the way it works is that Yvette gets us a list. If there's local ones, um, you know, I don't mind picking them up or Janet, I know it's done it in the past or whoever else wants to join the fun, we can do that. So um, we'll disperse them accordingly. Great. Okay, moving right along, we're on the director's report. Okay. Uh, there are several gifts that we received. Um, we received a donation of a Mackie PA speaker system from the Bedford Big Band. We'd like to accept this to use for programs that need a microphone and speaker. I will make a motion that we accept the donation of the Mackie PA speaker system from the Bedford Big Band. Second. Okay, all those in favor? Five zero zero. Thank okay. you. It's not random because Reggie's father is involved with the Bedford Big Band. <laughs> Um, we received a donation of a caregiver resource kiosk with handouts from the Greater Nashua Smart Start Coalition Care of Care of Stephen Klein. We would like to display this in the children's room to provide parents and caregivers with handouts and flyers. I'll make a motion that we accept the caregiver resource kiosk from the Greater Nashua Smart Start Coalition. Second. Thanks. All those in favor? Five zero zero. Thank you. We received a donation of a dice tower from Gloria Barrett. We'd like to use this for gaming programs. I will make a motion that we accept the dice tower from Gloria Barrett. Second. All those in favor? Five zero zero. Thank you. And we received a donation of several, I think five, um, energy usage monitors from Mark Robichaud on behalf of the Merrimack New Hampshire Energy Committee. We'd like to add these to our Library of Things collection. Okay, I'll make a motion that we accept the energy usage monitors from Mark Robichaud on behalf of the Merrimack New Hampshire Energy Committee. Second. Great, all those in favor? Great, thank you. Um, I believe, according to the treasurer's report, we have $49.42 in anonymous donations this month. Um, make a motion that we accept the 49, no. It's the the tote is funny yeah. because if we're paying then if we pay the friends for it mm. then it's we don't need to accept it. So thirty nine forty two. Okay, I'll make a motion that we accept thirty nine dollars and forty two cents in anonymous donations. Second. Okay, all those in favor. Thank you. All right, um, Alyssa Jobin was accepted into the New Hampshire Library Association's first Emerging Leaders Cohort. Um, and the cohort was recognized at the NHLA Fall Conference and Business Meeting on November 6th. Uh, 
Jen Stover and I nominated Alyssa and we also attended um, the conference so that we could see her recognition. Wonderful. Congratulations to Alyssa. Congratulations. That's great. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so that uh, leads me to the funding request from the staff um, for advertising. Um, we posted, I posted the teen position <clears throat> and the, um, well, the teen position on Indeed for two weeks. Um, and so that's a, a cost of $501. Dollars and forty-two cents. It did um, allow us to receive a lot of applications. Um, where when we just posted it on our usual channels, um, we had we had none. We had maybe one. Um, the other one is um, for an outreach event, which is actually tomorrow. Um, Jen and Alyssa are going to attend the fall senior fair at the O'Leary Center. So. Um, Traditionally, we bring a raffle basket. Um, everyone brings a raffle basket. So we also bring a, a raffle basket. It is um, full of very cozy fall things and um, a blanket and candles and um, some really nice things that Jen put together. So that is up to $100. I don't have all the receipts yet. And then um, for staff training, um, $50 for myself, $50 for Alyssa to attend the full conference because of this nomination. Um, and those were all passport funds, in my opinion. And Jen didn't go, Jen Stover? Jen Stover did go, but she had already, she had already registered. Um, and then when, when I got the email a week before that Alyssa was nominated, then I had to quickly register <laughs> myself and Alyssa, so. Okay, well, I'll make a motion that we um, fund the $501.42 for the Indeed post out of passports. Second. Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Five zero zero. Um, I will make a motion that we fund up to $100 for a raffle basket for the fall senior fair out of passports. Second. Okay, all those in favor? Five zero zero. Thank you. And finally, I will make a motion that we fund the one hundred dollars that um, allowed Yvette and Alyssa to attend the NHLA Fall Conference out of passports. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Five zero zero. Great. All set. Okay. And I have been um, speaking with Kelly about creating an RFP. She said not an RFQ, but RFP. So I said okay. Um, so I'm waiting to hear from her. Um, I'm not sure what else you wanted me mm -hmm. to answer about the um, anything in my report. Um, I did speak to um, the owner of Mona's restaurant um, because they had posted several things on Facebook saying you could park at the library when we had not given any permission to um, allow anyone to use our parking lot. And especially in the evenings, you know, we have programs. So I did talk to him, and um, so far there's been no issues. So Yeah, I did swing through there just on my way over here yeah. this evening just to see because I had noticed that in the report, um, but it didn't seem like there was really any cars in that proximity of nope. the library lot. But No. Okay, great. Does anyone have any questions for Yvette for, about anything in the report? No? Okay. Great. Thank you, Yvette. All right. Uh, treasurer's report. Okay. So, there's my great. Um, in fines, we started the month with $3,733.49 and we ended the month with $9,393.64. Um, if you looked through it, there was the addition of the $5,000 that was transferred from savings to checking. Um, under special, we started with $58,475.21, and 
And we ended with $57,244.62. And um, the other thing is the last month's um, primary savings money from Square, each of those got um, transferred to their correct accounts. And then this month, before Molly beats me to it, <laughs> um, there is, I'd like to move $160.93 from primary savings to fines. And then $147.41 to special. Those are all the square transactions that are divided into each of the individual accounts. One sixty ninety three was the first number. One sixty ninety three and one forty seven forty one. Um, are those motions? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I yes. thought so. I'll <laughs> second. <laughs> okay. Any questions for Janet or discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Five zero zero. Thank you, Janet. Um, the only other, th the one thing that I'd like to just note is um, the Quimby Trust money, his annual report is about time for us to okay. just send him another one. Okay. So I've gotten the information from uh, the trustees of trust fund. I just need to write up my part and then I'll send it to Yvette. Okay, great. And CCU. So every year we, the Trustees of the Trust Fund manage a library trust from Dr. Quimby in honor of his son, Barry Quimby. Um, since he has that established, he has asked, or the first two years he asked to have an annual report sent to him. And then we've just kind of continued it. It's not long. It's mm -hmm. just to update him on, like, did we take a disbursement? What have we spent it on? And one, I think it was last year, we had um, information in the newsletter and whatnot about his son. So that's it. Great. Does anyone have any questions for Janet? Okay, thank you, Janet. Um, acceptance of minutes. We have five sets of minutes to accept. Um, the first one is from our monthly meeting, October 15th, the public meeting minutes. Is there any changes or questions? Okay, I'll make a motion that we accept the October 15th public meeting minutes. Second. Okay, all those in favor? Five, zero, zero. Then we have the um, October 15th non-public meeting minutes. I'll make a motion to accept the non-public meeting minutes. I'll okay. second. All those in favor? Great. Um, let's see. Then we have the October 22nd non-public meeting minutes. I'll make a motion to you thank accept you. them. <laughs> <laughs> Would someone like to second that motion? Second. Okay. All those in favor? Five, zero, zero. Then we have the um, November 14th meeting minutes. So um, we started in public. Um, I'll make a motion to accept those. Second. Okay. And is it the 14th? The, it is November 14th, public okay. meeting. Did yep. I label them wrong? No, you. I'm sorry, did I, I probably misspoke, I think. I, was, oh, that's okay, either way. It was the 14th, yeah, it was <laughs> okay. the 14th. Okay, and then the non-public meeting minutes. I'll make a motion to accept the non-public meeting minutes. Okay, um, um, all those in favor, um, I'll second, I should say. Boy. I think I'm just getting into the habit and I'm not doing a good job. Okay, all those in favor of accepting the meeting minutes, five, zero, zero. Um, I do want to just note and have it in these minutes that um, we did accept the salary schedule um, so that we have that written down that that was accepted um, by the board, so. And I sent that out with it dated. Yes. Okay, great. <coughs> Okay, um, moving on, committee updates. 
Building Exploratory Committee, nothing to report from them. The Friends. There was a meeting. Uh, see, two new members at large. Said the trunk or treat was a success. Of oh, people. great! Um, yeah, let's see. Talked a little bit about the book sales. And cannot read the rest of this. There should be much more. <laughs> 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 there was a funding request for hundred dollars for children's programming. Um, we talked about the make and take adult bags that um, Yvette found a bunch of stuff during the clean out for. Um, there's not going to be a wreath fundraiser this year. Um, they discussed that. They set dates for the next book sales. Um, and then they discussed the musicians program from the previous um, that had happened just a few weeks ago. So, And the next meeting is on November 25th next week okay great um the development fund did meet just to review some things and i did receive an email from nelson thanking um, me for the um putting something about members for the development fund i guess it was in the library newsletter and i, I assured him that that was you and that i would pass along the thing his thanks so he appreciated that so the development fund and I'm sure the friends as well, always looking for people to get involved to support the library in that way. So um, if people are interested, you know, they can reach out to the library. We would welcome the assistance. So, okay. Um, town center, no one has gone. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, I, I will reach out to Nelson because it, um, and find out when the next meetings are. Um, if they're over a vacation, I can make it. You know, we'll just see. I told them we'd kind of take it one meeting at a time because they're Friday afternoons they're, and they're not really necessarily regularly scheduled. I think they were in a regular pattern and now I'm not sure what's happening. So yeah, I don't think I've seen one posted yeah, in a long time. Yeah, so um, I don't know that it, I mean, we talked about it being hard for anybody to commit to always being there, but that we would maybe make an effort to try to send a member on the times and the times that we could, so. Okay, uh, library trustee committee updates, personnel committee. Um, nothing specific. I think we have a non-public okay. requested, yes? Yep. No? I we have a non-public at the end of this if we need it. Okay. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, we are in process of establishing a routine meeting time, uh -huh. um, so we can uh, predict when that will roll around, but otherwise no updates. Okay. Great. Um, the finance committee, we met to draft the salary schedule, which we sent to you, or the, not the salary schedule, the salary schedule narrative explaining the salary schedule, which we sent to you and which we voted to approve. So that I think that was really all we did at that meeting. Mm -hmm. And then the building committee. We met on November 7th. Um, a lot of the focus on our meeting was how to go forth with an RFP slash Q, <laughs> um, the way the town wants to do it for the HVAC system um, and a maintenance plan for the HVAC system. Um, we discussed we really want it to be more qualifications based so we can find a partner for long term mm -hmm. maintenance and upgrades and that kind of thing versus having someone bid on a piece of equipment or a certain item on it. I think that's something we need to mm -hmm. you know, move away into like a long term plan. So that was what we discussed a lot of and then going through um, the project list. Um, yeah. Okay. That's it. And our next meeting is January 2nd. Just January 9th, excuse me. I was going to say, that's ambitious. January 2nd, yeah. right January away. 9th. January 9th. Okay, great. Um, okay. So um, we do need to discuss the budget. So shall we just, is this a good time? I have a couple things. Okay. Um, one is there were there were two um, bills, for lack of a better word, pays payments, whatever, um, that are going to be paid out of the maintenance budget, and I would like to move them. So I'd like to make a motion to pay for the North Boston roof repair. That is nine thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars. 
out of the building line, 158502, instead of maintenance. Second. Is there a particular reason, like why we are doing that? Just because there's more money in that line? Yes. And that, okay. So we're on a default budget this year. We already cut things out of that line. Um, we essentially have like, what, $300 in that mm -hmm. line for the rest of the year. So these are larger expenses that we can just put into the building line. Okay. Um, and the that vendor, sorry, was North Boston. It's North Boston. Um, it, that's I think it. it's North Boston Contracting. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And the dollar amount, 9995. Correct. Thank you. And it's going out of uh, 158502. And then uh, I'd like to make a motion to pay for the sprinkler repair from Life Safety Fire Protection, also out of the building line. And Are we that's, combining those into one motion? Uh, oh, no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'm not. So my first motion is for the North Boston roof repair for the $9,995. OK, all those in favor? Five zero zero. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Um, and the second motion that I'd like to make is to move the sprinkler bill, which is from Life Safety Fire Protection. That's $4,570.98 to the building line, which is 158502. Okay, um, I'll second that. Any discussion or questions? Okay, all those in favor? Five zero zero. Thank you, Janet. Um, I also just wanted to point out is um, we paid more for the elevator doors than what we had originally been quoted. We paid eleven thousand four hundred and seven. Excuse me, eleven thousand four hundred fifty-seven dollars and twenty cents, and we had been quoted ten thousand nine hundred and seventy, which is almost five hundred dollars. Do we know why? No, at least I don't know why. I just pointing it out. Hmm. So that was paid out of the building line. Did they need to do something different, Yvette, or? I would have to go look. I can't mm. answer that on the spot. Okay. Now I'm done. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So, shall we move on to the proposed budget? The I actually have two. Okay. Maybe. I think I put in your packets an email from Nick from Garland about the roof. We have the pictures? Yes. Yes. So, we have some information. Mm -hmm. And then I had sent the part time bookkeeper job description as well. So, the, do you need any action from us on the roof, or is that just informative for us? Okay. Yep. And then we did get the part time bookkeeper one. Okay. So, let's address that because that would impact the budget too. So, did people have a chance to take a look at the um, part time bookkeeper job description? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I thought it looked reasonable. Yeah. I guess one of the questions I actually had for it is it required, and maybe it's just something you would do when, if a person came in, is do they have to be in the library the whole time? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it, I think sometimes but also, Jen and I were discussing this today. I think it could be um, also remote, at least, you know, let's say 50 50, or yeah, we can figure that out. That's okay. about what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Good, yeah. good, great. Because there's, there's something that you can definitely do. They would just wouldn't need to be there. And then there's, I, that's exactly what I was okay. thinking about good. 50 50. Good. So what is the pleasure of the board? Would we like to create a bookkeeper position? Um, I 
I'm going to say yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I think this person is this position is important and fills a void. Okay. So. So would you like to make a motion, Janet, to that yes, effect? Yes, I'd like to make a motion to add this bookkeeper. Um, well, we need to create the position first before we do anything. So, so. do you want to create Yes, I'd like to create this position. Okay. So. <laughs> I'll second. Okay. Any discussion on this? So just, um, you know, as we're looking at the staff, as we, when Joanne retired, some of her duties are being distributed, and this would be somebody who would pick up some of those. So, okay. Um, any discussion, questions? Okay, seeing none, all those in favor? Okay, five zero zero. we have a part-time bookkeeper position created. That's, <laughs> it is created, that means that it can be something that we would have to vote on if we wanted to post it. And I, I'm not sure if we are talking about doing that for this year or if this would be in the next fiscal year. And I'm looking at you, Janet, when I yes. say that. Oh, okay. so. <laughs> um, at the moment, I would say, um, definitely for the new fiscal year and maybe after the start of the new year we can figure out where a better idea of where the budget is okay to see um, what we have remaining okay we could add that person okay so all right I seem to have forgotten a lot of things. Thank you for reminding us of all these little loose ends that we needed to tie up. So is there anything else that we want to discuss before we go on to the budget? Just a quick question. Sure. Um, the post for Indeed, that yeah. was, is that for this role already? No, oh, okay. this doesn't. This didn't exist yet. Okay. That's, that's for the role. team the okay. assistant. That's, that's exciting that you got that much response back. A lot of it is, hi, I want a job. I don't know what your company is, but I want to work. <laughs> so it, we sifted through, you know, many, 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 many. But we do have uh, interviews from that right. scheduled. So Great. thank you. OK. All right. Budget. Finally, I've been trying to get there all night. We are here. So seven forty. I know, but I we all know this is gonna be the longest part. So what is the best way to go through this? I know we did some stuff the other night. Um I'm going to ask just leave this to Janet and Yvette. What is the best way to start going through that? Um Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to pull up both of them on my little screen. Um, well, the easiest lot. for me would mm -hmm. be almost just to step through it, just to because some of them are going to be really quick and some of them are going to be um, okay. Have some discussion or maybe. Um, All right. right. So why don't we step through it? So the excess leave. I haven't heard back. Okay. For either one of them? Nope. Okay. Substitute coverage? Nope. Haven't heard back. So, so I mean, where does that leave us if we there's things that we still have outstanding? Like, is that does that mean we can't finish? We won't be able to fill those We could just in? leave it. Leave it as is. As is. Okay. I don't have any questions for Social Security, retirement, health insurance, dental insurance, life insurance, any of the insurances, compensations. I don't have um, office supplies. No change. Okay, so it's at nine thousand five hundred twenty. Mm. Um, maintenance supplies. We can decrease to three. Okay. Go back. Um, we upped. Postage. Actually, let me fill that with the yellow. Um, electricity we got from Paul. Natural gas. Um, any? As we? far as I know, he. I mean, I <coughs> am waiting to hear back confirmation from him that he also filled in the utilities because okay. they usually do. Right. 
Okay. Um, sewer, 340 telephone services. No train. So keeping it at yep. 4,500. Yep. Um, dues and fees. No change. 860. Yep. General insurance, 10. That's a poll number. Yep. Um, travel meetings. No change. So 1,900. Maintenance buildings. Yeah. No change. Um, I took, there was an additional $500 that was from friends. So I took that out. That's the. Um, that was under landscaping. Okay. then under the sustaining the library the um, PLC number changed so but that doesn't I mean it affects the budget but it doesn't affect like the sprinklers right, right. And stuff, so. so that ends up being 22,926 22,926 okay Office equipment. No change. Education and training. Okay. Um, computer <coughs> services. Um, I was going to say, I bet the Gmail thing. The dues. Which. So the dues are um, 40, well, the, yeah, 40,260. No. No, I'm, yeah. Okay. 40,260. 40,000. Yep. 260. Yep. Um, the van. That's in a different section. Is in a different section. I got it. Here it is. Yep. So maybe 65 to 20. 65, so it's up a thousand. Yeah. Okay. Web Dewey should be the same, but that's. Um, so wait a minute. So back up to um, computer services. Yep. Um, is there anything, any other change other than the uh, GMOs? I think with the Dick, um, he's, he, we pay him by the hour and we've had him come in to do a lot of work. I think um, it's better if he comes in to do certain upgrades instead of having someone else do them on staff. Sure. So right now, I think we, I put down 4,000 just to increase him a little bit. He's, a, he's the computer and yeah. printer maintenance person? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that line ends up being that whole um, 8550, excuse me, 8353 is 52,810. Okay. Is that what you have? I didn't do that. Oh, okay. I was okay. breaking down. No problem. So, so, um, so I upped the computer and printer maintenance to that 4,000. Mm -hmm. And then the Gmilks consortium was 40,260. Yeah, it looks like you're on the simplified version that you got when you did it. It was 52810. That's what it came out. Okay, oh, good. Right? Yeah, okay. Thank so you. Thank I you for checking in my thing. Okay. Um, the, the van, I increased anything else in that line? For outside? Are outside, we on yes. outside now? Yeah. Okay. Um, Amazon Prime's come a little bit higher. Um, 179. Constant contact, there is an increase, um, 700. That's our newsletter. Yep, 700. Um, okay, we would like to um, renew Beanstack. We had it on a three-year contract, and this past year, this past summer was the last year. Um, and it's really a lot easier on the staff in terms of tracking, um, the patrons are mixed um, in terms of tracking their reading on the app and paper. 
But um, I think overall, overall, we like it and we think it is a good service and not to go back to paper. Okay. So that would, we're estimating that's um, 1,020, probably another three year contract. So, but technically we're still in our contract. Okay. So, so it's 1,020 per year for the next three years. Yes. Um, oh, we talked about the van. Yeah. Um, the other thing is under um, Library Insight for Museum Passes, we actually have LibCal, uh, which is an annual um, cost of one thousand seven hundred fifty-nine. It is. Uh, it covers a lot of other. It combines a lot of other scheduling software that we were using into one. So, it's fantastic. So is it not museum passes anymore or it's, library inside? It's, it's museum passes and passport applicate, you know, and events in the meeting rooms. It's okay. calendars, staff calendars. It's everything. But it's LibCal. It's I'm called saying. LibCal, right. but it's not just the museum pass right. calendar, which was as of that. It's all the calendars. Which all the calendars. calendars. Okay. Yes. Uh, we are not renewing Niche Academy. Um, so that would be a decrease of 1100 Okay. Um, the door system. No change. Okay. Hotspots we had cut already. Okay. Yeah. Um, then the legal fees is Paul's number. The annual audit is Paul's number. Yeah. So. I have 13264 mm -hmm. awesome. yeah. That's what I have. Okay, programs. Programs, um, Kathy would like to have her levels for children, 1400, and for teen, 1400. However you wanna fund it, that's what she would like. Okay, that's actually a conversation for us. Um, we, in the past, have added money to programs from various pots of money. Um, What was, what, in the past years, what was the funding with, between our, what we gave them and what they got from the appropriated? So yeah. last year was 75, or no, this current year is 7,500. Total. And, total. And what did children's and teens get? Like 400 for, 400 for the appropriation, teen also got 400, and then adult programs. Like basically everything here uh -huh. stay the same. But what we added was, got us up to 7,500. So, so I'd have to pull up the other. I mean, so we're, we, I just want to make sure like we were, it, it's not really an increase because we were paying that much. Right. Yeah. Yeah, actually, um, so I'll just pull up the old budget. Mm -hmm. um, Because so, um, I think this has been confusing that staff have not thought, known that we funded their stuff with our money also. So they, so just when you say it's an increase, it's like, well, it's not because that money was there, but there was like some confusion about it. So give me a second. There it is. Okay. So programs. Okay, so last year we did, it was 400 children's, 400, or this year, this yep. fiscal Current year. fiscal year, yeah. 400 children's, 400 adult, 1,000 adult programs. I think I said 400 young adults. And then it was 75, excuse me, I can't even speak anymore, 5,700 for what we are adding, which was 5,000 from special passports and 700 from friends. So I took out all of the friends mm -hmm. money. So I'm just saying like last, so this current year, just so that they know right now, what, how much does children's have for programming? They have 
as much as they want. We did not specify who gets that $5,000 or that $5,700. Mm -hmm. She, um, Children's gets 400 from appropriations. Young adult has 400. Who are, I don't know who does adult programs. Reggie? And me. Awesome. Um, has that 1,000 and then that's from appropriated funds and then there's 5,700 that can be spent any way they want. You could do it your community programs because we cut it last year. Um, Kathy can take fifteen hundred dollars from for both. Mm -hmm. It's it's there. Mm -hmm. So, okay. so that's this year. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just wanted to clarify because like when they say requested increase, it's like, but what are we paying now? There's there's at it's least there. that much. Yes, yes. If, and more. more and more. Right. Yeah. Programs is just an, a very easy um, account for us to add money to to help out because they spend money on programs. Mm -hmm. So um, when trusts say you can only buy children's books or fiction or suitable books of fiction, um, it this is just a place to add that we can add money mm -hmm. um, that benefits our patrons mm -hmm. so so what do we want to put in for the next fiscal year knowing that we had 50 set there's 5,000 from the trustees in the current budget that we're in correct I just put 5,000 okay um, I think I think in the 23-24 was 3,000 mm -hmm. so <clears throat> so we had upped it last year and Okay. But the the seven hundred is from the friends, friends anyway. Right. So I did the. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So I the just, increase will be so. We'll we'll it'll be funded the same way. Yeah. They just they have the money. Yes. So. Okay. Yes. Then I have. Okay. This seven hundred of this year, of right now, right now, yeah, is friends money. Is friends money. But it's the general donation friends money. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and and but there's five thousand dollars there, so. It's, well, no, I understand yeah. because they go to the. Right. They go no, to the friends is, directly. This is for the, program sponsorship yeah. in the summer. Yeah. Right. Nope. It's not. Um, it's not any of that. It's not that pot of money. <laughs> yeah, I just okay. really want to make sure that they know because I think that that's been a cause for concern when they mm -hmm. don't realize that you know. That the, when the children's staff doesn't uh, doesn't know, I don't know that there's five thousand dollars there. You have that for your programming, so yeah, um, it's there. It's there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So are we good with five thousand? More or less? Happy? Don't like it? Thoughts? I'm fine with five thousand. I good. just want them to to use it. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> the, yeah. All right. Next. So, so we're. Yeah. Or good, and they should know that if they need more, they can yeah, right, exactly. and right. say, hey, yeah, you know, we need a little more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that brings programs to 6,800. Make that yellow. Make this yellow. Make this yellow. Okay. Advertising 500 still? Yeah, no change in that. Okay, materials. This is the dun, dun, dun. <sighs> materials. Okay, so we can cut um, a thousand from adult fiction. Is there a reason why they think you should because cut Because we thousand? can. Mm -hmm. Because we're frugal. Let's okay. just see where it. Yeah, out. because like I would yeah. think that that's like a <laughs> yeah, that's books it. cost a lot. They're like more expensive. That's we haven't gotten to New Hampshire downloadables yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, no change in nonfiction. Okay. Uh, I didn't put in your. Library. It's a thousand for from the yep. Lawrence and a thousand from Watson. Okay. Uh, no change for teen and graphic. Okay. Um, yeah, we talked about those. Uh, no change adult graphic, no change large print, okay. no change reference, 
Um, no change for magazines, newspapers, no change. We don't have a professional collection anymore. Um, there will be a decrease in databases because we are cutting two of them um, because they aren't being used. And I, I put the detail down there if you want to see that. Um, can it be there's no change? No, how much is the hmm? database? Let's see. Oh yeah, it's um, for news bank. No, I'm sorry. For info based learning, excellent file. That would be thirteen thirty nine and seventy cents. Hold on. So thirteen thirty nine. Wait a minute. That's how much, because on your sheet it says 12,000, but it's actually 1339. That's what I have in. Oh, okay, I was looking at your simplified worksheet. So, that's what I've been following. So it's 12,000, 13,000? It's whatever I wrote. Because uh, I have my detail as, my detail says it's 13. 13,000. 39 and 70. 39. I'm just going to go up to 40 and I'm not going to look at it. And then uh, we're also going to cut universal class uh, low usage again. So that would be 1,500. And then pods, uh, the story time pods, low for kids. Run a two-year trial. It is um, completed in June of 2025, but we won't renew it. So that's probably going to be uh, 13.53 and 12 cents again. But we tried it. So what's the final number for databases? It's 13. It's thir the 13,000 is the final number? I have number. 12. Well, yeah, 13,000, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Because I had 12. Right. But you, so. the 1393 was how much you were cutting, not the amount. Like, what is the final amount in the budget? It's just be? under $13,000. Okay. So. so, 13. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can it be? Can it be no change? Uh, cloud? Cloud. Cloud, we can put in. Um, our discretion, and we've been putting in five, you know, 2,500, five. So um, let me get back over here. <coughs> yeah, I think 25 is good. Other libraries can step up. <laughs> Libby, Libby is the challenge because... Ruby has increased. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Okay, so last between last year and this year, Libby increased by forty-two percent. Um, so between twenty-two twenty-three and twenty-three twenty-four, it increased twenty-seven percent. And then between 21-22 and 22-23, it increased 12%. So we had an increase of 12%, 27%, and 42%. How do you project? Is it going to be 62% next? I mean, how are you, how, I don't know how to project that, but it's going to be more than a 50% increase if we're, if we're tracking. So what's the what's the number for this year? Right now it's fourteen thousand and twelve dollars. What's really interesting is the mine hasn't gotten the gunwood for the schools. We haven't had an increase in years. It's been the same price. 
every year. I don't know mm-hmm. the difference between it's we it, we get it through overdrive also, but it's called Sora, but it's uh, oh, yeah. all first kids. It's, so mm-hmm. it's audio books, you know, all popular yeah, books sure. and stuff, but it's considerably less expensive. I mean, obviously our community is a lot smaller mm-hmm. too, but the price has not changed. That's what's interesting is that it hasn't gone up at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, funded by libraries near you. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, no, I know we pay but, for it, but, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. clearly they're increasing the price somewhere uh, for public libraries. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, interesting. Hmm. I mean, there's a lot more. There's a lot more materials on there, obviously, yeah, than just yeah. the kids stuff too. Mm-hmm. So, I added it. <laughs> yeah, I just think until cloud gets better. I mean. I understand why cloud is is a positive, but it's very restrictive as far as like the device. You can only really wa- use it on like a laptop or, or an uh, iPad or a phone. It doesn't have a Kindle option or you know another e-reader, which is kind of a drag. So, so. I think there are a lot of users um, for Libby or I. Yeah, the for yeah. Libby, at least um, there was some some of that um, strategic plan survey I mean the digital services were pretty at least according to the people that responded um, you know pretty widely used and you know I, I just think it's worth investing in I guess is kind of the the point there but um, I think there's probably pros and cons for every service mm-hmm. you know out there Do you have any idea on the number of users Merrimack Public Library has that use uh, Libby? I have them. I don't have it with me, but sure we have that information. That's how the formula is calculated by number of users. So if we increase the users, our uh, cost will go up. I think the the you know, I think the concern is what's the breaking point um, for us and are are our patrons getting their requests. I think you can't just look at requests though, because I know a lot of people like, it, it's also, I want something to read on an e-reader. So I just look through and see what's available. Well, so I mean, there's, yeah, well, I know, but I mean, so, I think that people, not everybody goes on and it's all based on the hold request. It's like using the public library, just using the print books. You know, there's holds that I wait a long, long time for, but then there's also times I just go in and browse the shelves and grab something. So I think it's, it can be equated to that too. It's not just not getting the holds, but how many, mm-hmm. People are just using it in general to grab sure, books but and stuff. If, if the state doesn't buy the popular items to fill holes, patrons are frustrated. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I mean, there's a lot of factors. So, I don't know if this is a worthwhile suggestion, but what if we keep it for this year and ex- explore other options potentially before next the next budget? The only other option is Cloud Library. It's the only other one right now? Yes. Well, mm-hmm. oh. Hmm. I mean, the staff, library library staff around the state, and especially GMO's consortium, are exploring other options. We've had this conversation because we fund the state. We're the biggest sure. consortium. We're the big libraries. Um, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I think, you know, Manchester pays the most. Nashua pays, you know, they're up in $30,000. Um, it's, you know, Nashua is $38,836. That's what they pay. You know. It's not just the, I mean, licensing is expensive, right? To license all these different things. So yeah. that's... I'm just alerting you <laughs> no it's good it's you know. it's unfortunate because you've told us that cloud has limited publishers i think you've told us each well you know publisher i you know this is how they get you to spend money you know sure. I mean, they have this slate of authors this slate of publishing houses and this thing over here has this slate of publishing houses so you can't get everything it's like streaming service can only get certain channels on certain. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I do think that there's the um, 
the, like Libby is really promoted. There's like a huge zeitgeist. If you're like read anything about books, everybody's like Libby, 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 mm -hmm. Libby. I think that to without having a really viable alternative, it's hard to think about getting rid of it because I think people just hear Libby and they know that's how they can get books and you know that sort of thing. So I think that's uh, mm -hmm. that's the hard part. Is it has to be replaced with something that would be able to do a lot of the same stuff that it can do. I, I don't know how to predict how this is going to go up, but I think it's going to be over 50% up. All righty. So you put it in? I put it in. 14,012. Okay, but that's, that's what we just paid for this year. It's going to go up for the budget we're working on. When That's will we saying. know that? Then? We'll know when they vote in the summer because every library is on a different budget cycle. So they, they vote like in June. So that's why I'm saying we have to predict that this is going to go up. But by so, how much? In, so, so you're saying that the 11,000 that we had budgeted in this current fiscal year, we were under. We're under. We by under. 3, we under budgeted. Yes, and I and we just paid the bill. We just that is has just been approved, and the PO was created this week. Okay. So, but the bill is based on the number of users. Oh, it's based on lots of things, but yeah, in <laughs> part it's part of yeah part of it. It yeah. you know yeah yeah. So that forty two percent is made up of a lot of different things or just the base price that's the increase going up that was the increase like the per from user last year to this current year amount i yeah would have yeah. to give you the formula yeah i mean i think it's a general increased amount but to what point that's predictable well and you know factored in is the cost of the service you know the number of materials for holds, you know, just mm -hmm. of the collection. Um, they added magazines. So now magazines exist on the platform. Mm -hmm. um, Is Canopy on the platform too? No. no. I feel like when I go on there that I see something for that, but. Mm. Well, I mean, I think that no matter what we do, we're, um, we, we didn't know what it was last year. We put in 11. We can only put in what we think it's gonna yeah. do. We could add a little bit to it if we wanted to. I mean, um, or we could just say 15 and we'll see what happens because yeah. That's what there's no way to predict what it's right. gonna be. Yeah. I think it's gonna go up more than that. <laughs> so. Believe it. To start, I guess. Yeah. What is the plan for it again? Like it's at the end of the year, calendar year? Uh, no, no, no. It's the fiscal year. Fiscal year, okay. So we received the bill, and we received the bill in the fall. Okay. That was voted on, and now this is, you know. So, so they won't. So they don't. They won't give you a quote before the your fiscal year, like. No. 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 Can the G Milk libraries make their own subscription to Libby outside the state library? We probably can't afford that. But that's something, as the G Milk's president, I have brought up with the directors, and they were mm -hmm. like, no, 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 we're just going to stay with Libby. And it's like, okay, I want to know <laughs> what's the breaking point? Mm -hmm. Because the breaking point for me is $14,000. You know, um, and they, we're not interested in um, really digging in. They also brought up the different devices mm -hmm. that only work with Libby. And it's like, okay, then I'll just table this discussion until people hurt, you know, when is it gonna hurt? But we're in default, so I wanted to talk about it. And the other libraries, except for Goffstone, aren't in default, so they were fine. 
Um, Janet, just for like education, um, what would be say? Let's just say theoretically that it does. It goes up to twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Do we as trustees have unanticipated funds? Like, from can passport things be used to supplement this? If we sure. So we do have options to mm-hmm. supplement it if it goes up. With it, we. And just just I just have a question on that. It's, it goes up because of the usage. So the more people that use it, the more the price goes up. That's one of the factors. It's a formula, it sounds like. So they have a formula, like they don't share the... If, if, if all of G-Milk's, though it sounds like it wouldn't happen, but yeah. hypothetically, if G-Milk's all of a sudden said, we're done, that would really... Like it would be put catas- a, catastrophic. Yeah, it really would. I know. So can I? And I know you've you've probably gone through all this, but like for the child, the um, school one, there is a committee that does the purchasing. No. Yeah, I know. I know yeah, that no. that's not a choice for you, but there nope. is a school like school librarians who are on the committee for what we're going to purchase for overdrive. So yeah. Hmm. But it just seems so mysterious. Like it just, it just seems so the number can change based on things that Libby is looking at. But I think it's the state, not Libby, right? That's giving you the formula or is Libby giving you the Well, the, 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 there's a staff at the state that has created the formula. Mm-hmm. So they probably take the price of Libby and then they mm-hmm. use the formula to just divvy it up. Yeah, it sounds like that. <laughs> Somehow. Sure, but a, you know, a book is like $70 mm. and then the publishers put a limit on the license mm-hmm. so this book expires yeah. and then we don't have it in the collection anymore. Mm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think this is not a problem we can solve. Yeah. We just know that we could fund it for this year while the investigation is going on for, yeah. There's no investigation. Well, <laughs> there's no investigation. Is there, I know you said that there's no committee. Nope. Um, but it, there's obviously a person to talk to. And has that conversation been brought to them? All the time. To basically say, hey, we, we aren't happy as a consortium and we are paying the majority of you. It's usually a phone call, nothing in writing. <laughs> it happens. Of course. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, children. Yeah, we should do it for a year. <laughs> like all of GMAX should just get rid of it for a year. Yeah, I, I think people would be really upset. I mean, yeah, as much as we'd like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we can have our fantasies. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> okay. Where am I now? Children's. CDs, chil- no. Children's yeah. materials. No, that's us. That's. Um, anticipated funds from trusts. So, are we on video games? Yes. Oh, children's? No, we're on video games. No. Uh, no change. No change audiobooks. No change DVDs. Museum passes is trustee. Audiobooks, people like borrow, like we still circulate a lot of like books on CDs. I get them because I can't get them on. Libby or Cloud. They're like older books. Some of them are older books. I must just be lucky. I get like, <laughs> like I put it on hold. Okay, it's here before I want it. So, well, it's it's also like it's here. <laughs> so, so yeah. okay, okay. Library of Things. Um, we can decrease by five hundred. I thought we were going down to 500 because you just That's needed maintenance. Ma- no, well, no, the we, two 500 because you need, need maintenance. We need at least 500 of just maintenance. Uh-huh. So then 500 to buy stuff. And we ran oh, okay. We're really out of room. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we're at 1,000. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. So I have 91,000. 765 which probably won't match because no of, because but of which is more than default but less than we were going to have in our budget for yeah. the previous year yeah our original budget oh, for the previous year yeah 
So more, so right, we're right in between the default and um, yeah. what our original request was, which really makes sense. We cut a lot mm -hmm. to help out, mm -hmm. and so this, yeah. yeah. It's less than 2,000, that's pretty good. And we added four just to mm -hmm. Libby, so. Okay, um, nothing for miscellaneous, nothing for building, mm. 3,500, 7,500, or 75,000. Yeah. Okay, and trustee money. Okay, and I talked to you about Libby. Um, trustees, um, so going forward, we really need to work with the finance department to make sure that they understand how to account for I money. I think that the pro, I, I, I don't know for a fact, but I'm guessing that the problem is at what they put in line 38 our expenses and don't put in the trustee funds that we've already applied for it. So it looks like we are we have not paid for those, and so they charge it against the appropriations, but that we actually have already paid for those, so. I concur. Uh -huh. <laughs> However, <laughs> going forward, we need to provide some education um, mm -hmm. to show them that this has already been paid for. Mm -hmm. um, because as it stands, we're at 17,000. That's how much we were gonna contribute to the budget from our funds. So um, it's $7,000 from trusts, $5,000 from fines, and 5000 from passport. OK. Um, the bottom line that I have is 1,300,000 and, excuse me, 1,303,653. Can you just let us know what was our original ask last year for appropriated funds? Our default is one million two hundred eighty-four thousand four hundred and seventy-one. This budget is an increase of nineteen thousand one hundred and eighty-two dollars. Can I ask, did you put the bookkeeper in this budget? Yes. Okay. The bookkeeper is in at let me scroll up. Give me a second. Bookkeeper is in at fifteen dollars. Excuse me, fifteen hours a week at twenty dollars. Um, at twenty dollars an hour. So, with the implementation of the staff salary schedule, with building in a little bit of um, cushion, with the understanding that we might have to pay more towards um, Libby, so you added an extra thousand to that. Um, an extra four. You put an extra four in for Libby. For Libby. Okay. Yeah. So even with that and the position, it's an increase of 19182 Yes, which is essentially, if you want to break it down to that way, the bookkeeper is fifteen six. We added an additional four. So mm -hmm. those two by itself Are the increase. For, right. Don't forget, um, health insurance increased. Mm -hmm. So that... Um, it increased, but yet, um, actually, um, but we have one less full-time person, so that mm -hmm. helped out. Um, but yeah, I mean, there, and we kept fiction. At 13. Mm -hmm. So, um. So the one million three hundred three is that the appropriated? That is gross. So that includes our seventeen thousand. Yes. So the, our appropriated request yes. would be. <laughs> so our the appropriated is. Well, they don't look at it that way, but but I like I to know because when we go before them, I, I want to make sure that we are asking in appropriated right. funds for this much, which and we are putting in seventeen. Yes. and I think that that's like it's one million two hundred eighty six thousand six hundred fifty three. That's right. like, but you're not comparing <laughs> apples to apples, yeah. so. Um, no, but I think making adjustments for the increases. Sure, and mm -hmm. we put in less money. 
we're, we're, the trustees are taking $200 less than mm -hmm. last year. And this is with um, our new salary schedule implemented. Yes, and with all the wow. increase yep, in ratings. Nice. <laughs> this is my swan song, the salary schedule. I want to get that. So, um, all right, just because I am that. <laughs> I want a known percentage. That's good to know. That's what like percent of me? this is this. No. It's like, no way. Yeah, it is. It's like less than 2%. Between current and proposed? Yeah. Or from the default to our proposed one? Two, yeah, it's less than 2% increase mm. from last year to this year. From the default or from what? The from the default, the total okay. default, the gross mm -hmm. to. That's crazy. So, how are we feeling? Rockstar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the salary schedule, it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like one and a half percent. So, is there? Um, I just want to make sure we are not. Um, That's awesome. It's great to be fit, frugal. It's great to come as close as possible. I, I, understand. I just want to make sure that knowing how low the percentage is, was there anything that you cut with that you were like, oh, I guess we'll cut this if we have to? I don't know. Okay. I just want to make before we vote, like, if, was there something that you. What about no. cloud? Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure that we are like, you know. Cloud? Is, is discretionary mm -hmm. how much we give in. So we could always pay cloud out of passport too. Well, it depends on how much you know, if you feel you want to beef up that right um, collection, then it's the funding. You know, who buys for all, cloud. So I said we are gonna step back mm -hmm. from right. mm -hmm. sure. a lot of money. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm just scanning. If anything pops out at me, I don't think so. Trustees, any thoughts, concerns as we went through that? Things that you were wondering about? We did put in for utilities at, at least what we paid this year. Because I know there was some concern that the numbers we were given might be low because it was lower than what we paid this past yeah, year. Yeah, that's, yes. Because, so you made the adjustment? Well, um, so where is it? Electricity, water. So we bumped our water from what the town gave us. Okay. That's included. However, the town gave us for natural gas 2800 and actual from last year was 4700 mm -hmm. and then we have budget for this year 4200 that's a chunk i mean that's almost 13 1400 dollars less i don't know the price of natural gas but is it did it really decrease that much i don't know anyway. either i'm not sure either i just i mean we could i mean that is his number so i'm I have a concern just because if we're over, that comes from other lines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. So do we bump it up to at least what we paid last year? So we're at least reasonable? Because I just can't imagine it's going down. Like that doesn't. We could keep it the same as this year's. Uh huh. Which was 40. 42. As opposed to 29. Mm -hmm. I think that's smart. 
Yeah, I don't know yeah. that we would know this far ahead necessarily either anyway. Mm -hmm. the right, they're estimating. Well, even if it did happen to be currently less mm -hmm. expensive, that doesn't mean that it would be. Yeah, I'm looking ahead. at the graph. It's like it's all over the place, wow. but who knows what the what the contract is that the town uses. I don't know. Okay. So doing the math, it's like a third, 33% drop to the end. I know. Un un right. un unlikely. So mm -hmm. I'm. let's just say that your sick leave, the sick leave is you. So we could bump that up a little. I just want to make sure that we are not cutting ourselves, like with a 1% increase, yeah. that like let's leave, not like nickel um, and dime, you know, 15, yeah. you know, like little bits of money that, that we would get into that <laughs> situation because utilities are going to go up. That's just I think a, utilities were my question yeah. I meant to ask earlier, yeah. actually. Oh. I'm glad you did on that one. She has. There's been maybe so let me just keep it. They didn't change it, so. But phone cost is the same. Phone, okay. Uh, phone stayed the same, yeah. And electricity, what did they put in for electricity? 18,380. That's what it was last year. Too. Correct. Aren't we getting some new electrical electric thing that we were already all already automatically join? I don't know. I remember that. You, you watch a lot of um, these. <laughs> um, you watch all the town meetings. Set it so. up, but right now because electric prices went down, mm. it wasn't worth putting it out to bid just yet. Got it. So they were waiting for a better time. Okay. To get better bids before they actually go ahead with it. Mm -hmm. See, I knew you would know. So. <laughs> <laughs> I did watch all the those meetings that they did about planning it. Yes. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. So if we leave the excess leave purchase the same for both um, the supervisory and the hourly, and just keep the substitute coverage the same. Um, we did just bump up natural gas. So our bottom line is now 1,304,990. Okay. One million three hundred four thousand nine hundred ninety. I think that's responsible, right? We don't we can't control those costs necessarily, yeah. but we don't want to have to take from materials or something that will directly impact our pa impact our patrons because of something like that. Because thirteen hundred dollars there versus thirteen hundred dollars from fiction or nonfiction, mm -hmm. like people will feel that. So, Agreed. were there any other things that were concerns? So barring um, something drastic coming to our attention between now and the deadline, which is the 26th, would you feel comfortable making a motion to put this budget forth? Uh, yes, I'm comfortable with that. Um, I, I would like to maybe think about or discuss, given that it's, it's only 30. Sure. Um, if we go to default. Mm -hmm. um, we're only we are only twenty thousand dollars more than our default budget. Are we cutting things? Are we not cutting things? Are we? Do we feel like like what's the thoughts? <laughs> So I, I guess I don't understand what your question if is. If we had to go to default next year, mm -hmm. or like in this coming April, mm -hmm. she wouldn't even be here, so you're like, I don't care. <laughs> no, I do care, I do care, <laughs> like, I do care. Um, do we want to think about where we would go? 
we want to just wait and see. I remember it was a discussion that we had last year that I think you brought to us from other boards or other libraries that said they do a budget and then they say, this is our default. So they figure it out beforehand. How much was the discrepancy last year? What do you mean? So, so last year we cut $51,000. Okay. Uh, I can't say what you will do in the future, but like mm -hmm. that was a. That was a you're welcome. Mm -hmm. um, so we aren't even up to where, what our budget was last year with the additional 20,000. Yeah. My question is, I wish I could remember the explanation of how default is calculated because if we were to calculate default for the next year, or Paul was to calculate default for the next year, isn't it lower because it would be based on this year's default and not this year's regular budget? Well, there would also be union contracts mm -hmm. right, that have to be met, so it would be lower than we think. Wait and see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we can put ourselves in that spot yeah, that correctly sense. enough yeah. to mm -hmm. know that. I mean, I think this is not a overzealous budget, you know, like I think for our starting point, this is like where we feel like we need to be regardless, but you know, I think we would have to try to figure out what the if there is an ask come April, what that is, but okay, I thought but I don't know. That's my two cents. I mean, with only being a couple percentage over, I don't know where you would cut. I mean, that's the right. We cut Libby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's uh, that you're making our patrons pay, and that's the. Uh, Oh, the voters? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could put a statement in the minutes about if we go to default, there's very little wiggle room with this. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, and there's, you, you, no matter what you put forth, the default is a default, right? So if our budget was thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars more, it's still going to be the same amount. Like you'd still get to this point, and then still have to right, cut more. Right. It's not like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, I feel like it kind of already. If we put, you know, our proposed fiscal twenty six budget amount, and that represents less than a two percent increase, I mean, I think that's mm -hmm. a little bit stated, you know, to some extent already. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with it. Okay. 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 Um, <laughs> I am 99% sure that my numbers and calculations are correct, but I will go through them one last time. But um, I, I'm confident that they are. Um, so I, I think we all would understand that, like, if if there was an error, if there was a mistake, we we could meet sure. to say there, you know, mm -hmm. there was an, an inconsistency or there was something yeah. and we need to address it, so. Okay. Well then, I'd like to propose that we accept our proposed budget for fiscal year 25-26 at $1,304,990. Second. Any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Five zero zero. Awesome. C 
safe. <laughs> safe. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Great. And I trust that you will double check it, triple check it. And then if there is something, we will convene a quorum and we will address it. Because if it is something, I'm sure it's just a minor calculation. But yeah. um, yes. And that amount, sorry, um, includes the 17000 and I so I specified seven thousand trust funds, five thousand fines, and five thousand passport. Correct. Okay. Great. Thanks. Hold Thank on. Thank you, everyone. You want major. You. I, hold, yes. I'm going to give this to you so you can have it in the minutes. The breakdown of the trust funds. What do you mean? Oh, of that seven. Yep. Is that what that is? Okay. Oh yeah. You, you're going to send it to me or I can send it to you if you want me to or I can tell you right now why don't you do both I can do both <laughs> <laughs> the luxury <laughs> go ahead so um, it's PLC it's the Patterson Lawrence Carroll fund is 3000 Lawrence fund is 2000 the Watson trust is a thousand and Quimby is a thousand Watson 1000 Quimby 1000 Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven, yep. Okay, great. All right. Awesome. So um, I just have for action items that I'm going to send you the goals with the changes that we discussed. Janet is going to make the financial changes by um, the deposits that you addressed that you would move so oh, yes. nice okay. um that you will double check the budget and just yes. confirm with us that it's all set yep. um was there anything else for action items i'm meeting with jen, just jen. To, okay to understand mm -hmm. the recap Oh yeah, and if you if, if you could let us know why the budget, the elevator was over, that was a question. That the five hundred dollars, why that ended up costing more, just out of curiosity. Um, um, and the personnel committee's setting a routine date. And the personnel committee setting a routine date. Great. And you said the goals are done. So the goals are done. Um, the the trustee the, goals for Yvette. Yes, we did those. Yes. And I sent them out, I believe. Yeah. The revision. Okay. Um, okay. So those should be set and. Okay, that's the end of my sentence. Okay. <laughs> I will announce that the Strategic Planning Steering Committee meeting will be held on November 25th at 4 p.m. in the Lowell Room. The Friends of the Library are also meeting on November 25th at 7 p.m. in the Director's Office. The proposed budget for this um, upcoming fiscal year 2025 26 is due on the 26th which we just finished up on, that our next trustee meeting is going to be on December 19th. Did she say, was there yeah. something? Yeah, we, we need to find an alternate mm -hmm. location other than here. Um, I haven't sent that to you yet. If it came a few days ago. Um, December 19, trustees meeting question mark at library, but I can, I can okay. you the message. So we too. will, we will be meeting on the 19th and when we post the agenda, we will let people know where it is because mm -hmm. it, it will not be in this room. Um, and the development fund committee is scheduled to meet on January 27th at 5 PM in the Lowell room. Okay. This is the time for any comments anyone has. Um, the list of gift cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll be on the action mm -hmm. items. Yes. Yeah. That Yvette will send us a list of where people want their gift cards too. Thank you. Um, and just so people know, you usually get the gift cards. I buy some holiday cards and I write a note and put the gift card in and bring them down. So, okay. Do we need a non-public session? No? No? Okay. Then I will make a motion, if there's nothing else to come before the board, that we adjourn at 842. Second. <laughs> All those in favor? Five zero zero. Okay, awesome. great. Thank you.